Today, I'm gonna to show you how over 100,000 developers, testers, and product managers from companies like Disney, T-Mobile, and Dell are saving hundreds of hours every week by reporting bugs with Jam. By the time I finish this demo, you'll be able to save these hours for your team too, but how? With Jam, it's two clicks to capture a bug and engineers get all the debugging logs they need. It's quite simple. You take a screen recording or screenshot and engineers get the console logs, network requests, device information, and reproduction steps. With this information, engineers can debug faster without unnecessary calls or follow-ups. I'm gonna take you through these five steps to get started with Jam and to save your team time with every bug report. First off is installing Jam. Jam is a browser extension and you get to it by going to jam.dev and then you're gonna click the button on the top right that says get started for free. After this, a pro tip is to pin it so you have easy access later. Step two is actually capturing a bug. So here I'm on a fake pizza ordering site and when I click submit, I get an error. When you come across an error, then you click the jam icon and then you're gonna see three different ways that you can capture the bug. The first thing you can do is take a screenshot here. So when I take a screenshot, you're gonna see all these different ways you can annotate the bug. You can put a circle around something, you can add an arrow, you can add text, and you can even blur out sensitive information if you don't want it to be shown. What's nice here is it also captures the full screenshot in case anyone else wants to see the full context. Now for the second option, which is recording your screen. So if I go back here and click jam, you're gonna see this option to either record your tab or record the full desktop. I'm gonna click record tab here and you're gonna see it's about gonna start recording. As it's recording, you can also leave a voice note if there's any additional context you wanna provide. After I click end, you're gonna see this option to trim down to only show what you want in the screen recording. The third option to capture your screen is called instant replay. The cool part here is it'll automatically replay the last 30 seconds of your domain like a video. So let's say I wasn't expecting this error. If I hit instant replay, it'll give me all the reproduction steps that got me there. This is really helpful in times where you weren't expecting to find a bug. So at this point, you're ready to share this with the developer on your team. When you hit create, it opens the bug report in a new tab and automatically captures the link to your clipboard. Let me show you everything that's included in the jam. So the first thing you'll notice here is the device information and your user's custom metadata. To the right, you'll see console logs, network requests, and the actions tab, which shows a list of reproduction steps. So that's right, there's no more need to write these steps manually because it's all captured here for you. By clicking any action, it'll take you directly to the timestamp in the video, which you can see on the left. Now for speeding things up for your team by connecting an issue tracker. When you create a jam, you'll see an option here in the upper right to create a ticket automatically in one of our integrated apps. Let's pretend to use Jira for example. Here I'm filling out the issue in all the fields. And this is something you only do once because it'll save your preferences for next time. When you hit create, it makes the issue and opens it in a new tab. Lastly, we have setting up your team on Jam. As you know, engineers are able to debug faster when they have all the complete information they need and all the tickets are logged consistently. The easiest way to do this is to invite your team to Jam and then you're gonna create a team workspace with all your jams securely stored in one place. So here's how to do it. First, you're gonna go back to jam.dev and after you've created an account, you're gonna be able to see all the jams you've created in the past. These never expire, just so you know. On the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna see this button that says add team. And then you're gonna see the options to put in your team's email addresses. Next, you'll set view permissions and get an invite link to share with your team. This is perfect to pin in Slack or put in the onboarding doc for new team members. We've heard time and time again that by using Jam, you'll be able to move faster and have less back and forth communicating about bugs. You'll avoid calls that you needed to explain issues, you'll catch bugs you otherwise wouldn't, and you'll also spend less time trying to reproduce errors. We are here to help, so don't hesitate if you have any questions that we can help answer, and we're so excited for you to try what we've built at Jam.dev.